it is looking like now where Florida had always, at least in my lifetime, been known as the lightning capital of America and somewhat a dubious distinction, as Mark called it in that article. Um, now it looks like that may be shifting the number or the amount of lightning in terms of uh, the leader in the clubhouse may be going to a state in the plains. Let's talk a little bit about that and break it down. How are we going to explain this, Chris? This, sometimes we take pride in everything under the sun and taking something that's complicated and, and kind of boiling it down. So I think, what do you do? You, you took do you take a, an average uh, square mile radius or something and say how much lightning is within a certain amount of time in that area and then compare that to other parts of the country? Is that kind of a, a kind of a, a rough way to kind of talk about lightning density? Yeah. So yeah, lightning density is how much lightning is occurring over a unit of area. So we look at things per square kilometer. Um, if you want to think about what a square kilometer is, it's about 187 football fields. We, we counted how many lightning events our network detected over each of those square kilometer areas across the United States. If you had 187 football fields out in one area, just think of how much lightning occurs over that over the course of a year, and that's your yearly lightning density. So when you looked at those numbers, it's become apparent that in recent years, that density or the higher number is now located in the state of Oklahoma versus where we had thought it was or it has been the last several years over the state of Florida, correct? Uh, when we look at the, the numbers over the last five years, they are neck and neck Oklahoma and Florida. I mean, it's really close. I mean, it's less than one lightning event per square kilometer. Um, and that's a statewide total. So for the entire state of Oklahoma compared to the entire state of Florida, if you get down to smaller scale details, so down to the county level, Florida still has the, the top two counties in the country for lightning density. So Orange County and Seminole County right there in central Florida have the most lightning in their counties across right. the United States. So so in, in a small scale, those are still the heart and hot spots of lightning. And one reason for that, folks, is because they're at the intersection of wind direction, thunderstorm situations. So they sometimes get it coming and going. They get one in the morning from the east and they may get a one in the west. And, you know, sometimes they're right in the middle. And those uh, I got a day's travel knocked out just uh, at the end of April. Um, you may remember that there was a day where Florida was covered in thunderstorms and so much lightning. And uh, I missed a day of travel down to, to Florida. I had to go a day later. So that seems to make sense. So the other thing from this data and a, a story that our Bill Waddell did on, on this, I think with you as well, is a lot more cloud the ground lightning in Florida versus Oklahoma, where it's more cloud to cloud stuff, correct? Correct. Yeah. And that's where the the lightning capital nomenclature initially came from, was looking at cloud to ground lightning. Back when lightning detection was first really becoming a thing, you were only really able to detect the cloud to ground lightning with any reasonable amount of certainty. Um, but now with new technologies and continued development and improvement of the lightning network that we detect in cloud lightning in addition to the cloud to ground lightning. So in Florida, you still lead the way in cloud to ground lightning. And that's really important lightning to pay attention to because that's what's going to hit a person or hit a building. But in Oklahoma, uh, the numbers are skewed a little more towards the in cloud lightning, which is also important to keep an eye on because that has major implications in understanding how storms are developing and things like that. Check out the full episode by subscribing to and downloading everything under the sun. Available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts, new episodes every Friday.